Hi, I'm Tony, Explore Crypto Channel, and in this video we will be speaking about BTC Pay Server. So why is BTC Pay Server different than any other payment processor on the market? Basically, BTC Pay Server isn't a company, it's the code, and this code allows you to do some cool things on the uh, on the blockchain with bitcoin especially bitcoin lightning uh, so you can run your own server you can you can set it up by yourself you can connect it to hardware wallet uh, you can do lightning network uh, invoices uh, and many more options like most of the lightning network stores that uh, are uh, online right now are accepting uh, payments only because they are connected through BTC Pay server and uh, BTC Pay server is created by few uh, independent developers it's fully open source so uh, there is nobody who who can take some commissions out of your out of your pocket who can control your keys for you as a person who may be interested in some kind of payments it's completely sovereign system so why this video? <laughs> uh, it's very hard to create your own Bitcoin backed service and with BTC Pay Server you can basically click through all those options. You don't have to even go into command line, into terminal, you don't have to do those, uh, those things that only programmers can do. Uh, so uh, you can do it by clicking some, some options and set it up for yourself uh, on your own server and also you can set up your server also by only clicking through some options so it's uh, it's a very good uh, good development uh, for people who aren't as technical uh, as like some bitcoin developers and developers uh, uh, on average so in past i was looking for the service like btc pay server to monetize some of my endeavors so if i knew what i know now about this btc pay server uh, it would uh, it would uh, make a huge difference for me that's why i'm sharing this information with you so most of this tutorial will be some kind of walkthrough how to set it up i will post the timestamps uh, in the description below so if you are interested on uh, going into like specific timestamps specific moment of this uh, tutorial uh, feel free to to go into the description because I don't want to bore you to death with like uh, non-important stuff so right now we are going uh, into the uh, into the interesting stuff into like setting setting it up on the Luna node how to do it how to do it for free like uh, at the beginning uh, how to set it up how to create your first button and how to implement it on your website or something like that for it to create invoices for your clients uh, or for your fans uh, so I will be explaining that uh, in the next section I'm on Luna Node, which is a virtual uh, server provider and basically they, they are the same as digital ocean amazon web services but uh, in the difference that uh, btc space server runs on it uh, more natively so you can basically launch your uh, BTC Pay server using few clicks uh, on Luna Node. That's why I'm using it. It's the easiest option uh, on the market. So yeah, I'm doing it from from it. Uh, I already uh, put like ten dollars worth of uh, credits into my account using Bitcoin. But if you would register from my affiliate link, you will get twenty dollars of credits uh, for start and. I guess it works only for people from United States or Canada. Uh, if you confirm your uh, credit card, uh, then you will have it. And uh, I read in the terms of service that they won't uh, prepare your card uh, after that. So you would have to uh, basically confirm it after after you spend those 20 initial credits. But I didn't do that by myself and I just it with Bitcoin. So I've got 10 credits and I can uh, create some API. So I will call it uh, BTC Pay and I will create uh, API key for myself. 
Okay, so I've got uh, API key. Uh, this is my API key, so I will copy it and then I will go to the launchbtcpay.lunanode.com. I will paste my key here and ID ID is going there. So we've got ID, we've got key. Let's continue. Uh, now, in this step, we would be able to uh, add our BTC Pay server to some of the domain we own. Uh, I currently, I'm testing it, so I don't want to add it to any of my domains. I will use uh, these generic ones from the Luna node and I will basically use it. Uh, if you would like to uh, connect through your own uh, hostname, you would have to specify it here and add it to your domain using this IP. But I won't do that in this step, so I will continue. This is my, uh, this will be my uh, domain for my BTC Pay server. Let's continue. Uh, now, uh, supported cryptocurrency, I will use only Bitcoin. If you would like to use any other of those, you have to uh, add uh, like more credits and use different plan because this, uh, this specific plan is only like for BTC plus Lightning. I won't be adding email. I will use the mainnet because we've got mainnet, testnet and rec test. So I will use mainnet Bitcoin. Lightning uh, implementation, I will, I will use LND because it's the one that I can troubleshoot and I know the best. So uh, I can use LND. But as we see, C Lightning was added uh, just uh, recently. So you can choose between LND and C Lightning. Uh, now, in advanced options, uh, I would highly suggest you to add SSH key if if you are going to store a big amount of crypto used like using this uh, BTC Pay server. But uh, I won't be doing that in this video. Uh, also, Lightning al alias, so it's for your node. I will call it Explore uh, BTC Pay Server. Okay. Uh, and the repository of the BTC Pay server, we can basically use our own uh, branch of BTC Pay server if we would do some uh, some changes to it. And yes, I want to accelerate initial blockchain synchronization because as we can see here, uh, for BTC synchronization, it takes around seven days using this uh, fee, uh, but uh, we can make it uh, faster uh, paying like more so I will use this accelerate initial blockchain synchronization and I will click launch virtual machine so now I would have to wait a bit for it to uh, to initialize and I will be back in a moment so I waited about five minutes as uh, it was uh, written here and I am able to go into my BTC Pay server that it's still syncing as we can see here so i would have to wait those few days like two three days for it to sync and i will resume the video after the nodes uh, are synced because basically you can't do anything with bitcoin until it's synced to the top of the uh, blockchain uh, because basically uh, bitc Pay server won't be able to read the new transactions and won't be able to uh, to confirm your transaction. So yeah, I will wait for it to, to sync and we'll resume this video in like two, three days from now. If you want to have it faster, you can just uh, create it on the bigger machine, like pay more for uh, for this uh, Luna node uh, plans and basically run it on the bigger, better, better hardware machine with more RAM. But uh, I won't be doing that, I've got a ton of time and I will just resume this video after the, the sync process. So see you back in a few days. So as we can see on the screen, everything went well and now my job is to register on this uh, BTC Pay landing website. So I have to register here. Uh, basically, 
I'm creating the admin account right now, so I will blur the, all the uh, all the information here on the screen, and also I will be changing my password pretty often. Okay, so after registration, I've got <laughs> uh, this important button here. It's called server settings, and let's go here. So basically we have all the information here. So uh, all of our information are there. I will be explaining it in the next video. For now, let's just create a new store because I want to show you why we want to use this BTC Pay server. So I will create a new store. I will call it uh, button one because I want to create the button. Basically, I'm leaving all the all the fields uh, as default. For example, uh, invoice expire. It will expire after 15 uh, minutes if the transaction won't confirm in 60 minutes. Uh, also, the invoice will expire. So, if somebody will uh, will create a payment with uh, Satoshi per byte to uh, amount too too low, like one Satoshi per byte, sometimes it might not go under those 60 minutes. Uh, yeah, consider the invoice paid even if the paid amount is uh, percentage less than expected. Probably it's related to some uh, to some fiat to crypto uh, crypto <laughs> conversion, but I will I won't be changing that. Uh, it will confirm after either one, two, or six confirmations. I would uh, personally go with six. Uh, derivation scheme. So basically, derivation scheme is the way of retrieving addresses from your public key. So you can either do it like from cold card wallet or uh, Ledger Nano, or you can, for example, go into one of your wallets. I'm using the Electrum one and uh, copy your public key. So I will copy it and remember that script type is uh, P2WPKH. <laughs> so let's copy it. And we have to copy this part. So dash pay to script hash, probably. Continue. We will see some of the addresses and you have to confirm in your wallet itself if those addresses are okay so i won't be doing that because i don't want to show the addresses uh, publicly but uh, you would like to see if those addresses are the addresses that your wallet basically is is creating for you and uh, yeah i will confirm it because i just want to create this store quickly and in my future video i will be showing more details so we've got this uh, xpub public key nice we've got um, lightning notes i won't be uh, showing you lightning notes right now it will be in the next video uh, we can do like custom description template of, of Lightning Invoice. Uh, that's cool. Um, so we can also create a, uh, payment methods. Probably if somebody would like to pay with, uh, with other uh, cryptocurrencies like uh, altcoins or something like that. I'm not interested in that, but yeah, if it's enabled. So. If somebody would like to pay with altcoins, why not? And yeah, let's save it. Now let's go into pay button. So what is uh, this store giving us? <laughs> let's go back. Uh, what is this button one store giving us is basically it's creating invoices. So usually if I'm a content creator, I've got like a website or I've got a Twitter, I would paste my Bitcoin address on my Twitter or on my website. And this Bitcoin address would be the same for every person that is visiting my website or Twitter or YouTube. Uh, it's just one address. But if you care about your privacy, you you don't want to have uh, your 
uh, your addresses like uh, listed in this <laughs> one particular way, like one address on your website, uh, you would like to have this uh, this custom, as we can see, custom uh, custom invoice creator for every new visitor. So every new visitor is creating a new address for 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 them, and they they are pa paying only for this specific address, and they can't see if other people were paying as well or or not. So uh, usually, if some people are are posting their bitcoin addresses uh, as a tip addresses on their youtube or twitter page then you can go and see how much uh, uh, money in in tips in bitcoin they are receiving so so yeah it's uh, it's a cool feature to not uh, not have all those payments into one address so that's why btc pay server is uh, is obviously uh, important that because you can create those uh, those uh, invoices. So every new guest is getting a new address. That's simple. So let's go into this pay button. Let's allow. Basically, it's some kind of API. Uh, I will be asking for 10 US dollars. Uh, everything is, uh, is optional. I won't be changing. Uh, maybe let's go with custom amount. I won't be doing anything. Uh, custom, I will go with all the defaults. Uh, I will copy the code. So let's copy the code. And here is my website. So let's refresh it. That's my website and I just used some kind of uh, default template from the internet. And right now I will put the, the button where the text is. So let's uh, put the button here. I will save it. Now let's refresh this website and click pay with BTC pay. So it's uh, bringing us to, to our website. So my address is 911674, uh, the same here. Uh, basically, <laughs> uh, we, can, uh, we can pay this, uh, this $10 of Bitcoin right now. So yeah, somebody would have to type the, the email in. And after they type the, the email address in, they see the uh, the payment uh, option. There is a way of, of removing this uh, this email uh, confirmation here on the screen. But yeah, I won't be showing the, the details. The, the important stuff is that we have this uh, this invoice ready for us and we can pay using uh, Bitcoin. And later I will I will show you how to do it with uh, uh, with Lightning Network as well. For now, it's important why the BTC Pay is uh, is needed for for people. Of course, if somebody is using like a custom store, like somebody is uh, creating a sticker store or something similar, T-shirt store, uh, BTC Pay uh, allows you to uh, to basically. Uh, uh, pair it with your like WooCommerce or other plugin uh, for the for the creation of those invoices for the stores as well. So I will be showing that in the future videos. So I hope this video was interesting for you. Uh, I would just like to give some shout outs for the people who are uh, creating the, the BTC Pay server, who are implementing it, who are putting the time to, to make the code. So it's uh, mainly Cooks, uh, Nicolas Doria and Jeff Vandrew. Those are the people that I, I know about, but probably there is a ton, uh, a ton of more people out there who are contributing to BTC Pay server. So thank you very much for, for doing this. I will be doing more videos like that. I will be creating uh, the, my own patron based on the BTC Pay server. It's called the uh, Libre Patron and it's it was created by, by the Jeff Bandrew based on the BTC Pay server. So I will be creating that in the next videos. Uh, also, maybe we will create some kind of store for, uh, for, uh, for us 
like mocked up store with some lightning uh, lightning stickers or something similar so i will be I will try to do it without uh, using too much command line for you guys to understand what's going on. Um, and uh, also some shout outs for people who created tutorials in past. If you are interested in more into BTC Pay server and you can't wait for my next videos, by the way, subscribe if you are interested in those. Uh, there are some cool videos by BTC Pay, BTC Pay server. They are explaining how to do stuff. So I will link the channel uh, of BTC Pay server below and also here on the screen. And also uh, Bitcoin shirts, uh, some person who is doing great tutorials about BTC Pay server. Uh, also how to set up your own store from from beginning to, to end, how to create it like in uh, in WooCommerce using some plugins. And yeah, it's very interesting. I will also post all those links here on the screen and in the, in the description. So to end, if you are very interested in this topic, you want to develop something uh, on it or, or just use it and you've got some questions, there is a Slack channel. I will also put the invitation link uh, below in the description. So all the links will be in the description if you guys are interested in that and thanks for watching if you like this video please hit the like button if you didn't like it please hit the dislike button and tell me what's wrong with, with those videos because i want to improve and subscribe uh, for my new content because i will be making more lightning network content bt space server privacy uh, there is a ton of stuff that interests me it just takes some time to to create those uh, tutorials so please subscribe uh, it will uh, empower me to, to do more videos for you guys. And have a great day. Bye.